to the Bearded Lady Cooking Show. I'm your host, Phyllis. Today we're going to be cooking peanut butter cookie brownies from Betty Crocker. <laughs> so the recipe calls for some vegetable oil. Well, <laughs> we don't have any. So we're going to use some butter. And it says to use a lot. So we're gonna use a lot here. Now we've also got some eggy poos, and we've got our bowl, and we've got our stirry stirrer, okay? Mm. So now we've got to take the peanut butter stuff, take out my big knife to cut that open. Aisha! Here we go. Oh. And we just dump that in there. Now we're going to make two servings of this. So we take the other one, get it on the right side. Oh! Ow. Now before we get into to really getting into this, we've got to wash our hands. What, excuse me, love. Always use a good amount of soap on your hands, okay? You know, ah! Okay, there we go, we're ready now. Now, I've made the mistake before by just taking the butter and putting it in the bowl. You don't want to do that, love. You want to take your Tupperware. Take out the butter. Oh, it's a fresh stick. And you're going to want to put it in it. I said stick, love. Wait, there's another package. I missed something. Oh, the cocoa. Let's see, we've got the brownie mix and the cooking mix. Oh, the brownie mix was supposed to go in first. But who's counting, really? Okay, I'm gonna put them together. Cause this just looks like, looks like a bag of cocoa, really. Oh, yes! Now you can make cookies or brownies. I think we're gonna make the brownies. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Hey! That's <laughs> what we do when you're in uh, my home country of England. Crack an egg. Oh, right in there. Crack an egg number two. Oh, there we go, love. All right. Now, how's our butter doing? Oh, boy, it's all melted. Oh, yes, it's hot. It's hot. Very hot. There's our butter. And here we go, love. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Some people use this thing, but I like to get right in there and get it mixed. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I burnt myself. Oh, I'm gonna let that cool down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just, just your little doggy, doggy dick, that's what I call it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now you wanna make sure the egg gets right in there, love. You wanna, where to gush it up, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, it's not, it's not uh, textually good, but it's gonna get there. There we go. Oh, yeah. What are you All right. <laughs> Be right back after these short messages. Thank you for coming back to our show. So now we've got the cookie and brownie mix all looking nice and crunchy like that. All right. So now what we've got to do is fold it, that's a cooking term, into our pan. I've pre-lubed the pan with some butter. So we're gonna get that in there. Oh yes, this is a very big pan, I see. For a very special treat. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, a little. Don't mind the little cookie crumbs, huh? There we go. We want to get it all in there. Now, before we get this all looking really nice, we've got to set our oven. Put that knife somewhere. To 350 calantes. So, oh, okay. All right. So while our oven is getting all ready, we're gonna spread our brownie mix out into the pan, okay? Get this pan out of here. Now I wish you were here to smell this, cause it smells delicious. Oh yes. Singing really seals the soul when you're cooking, you know, the baking and things. Alright, I think that looks good. Now we're going to stick it in the oven. Now that we've got our batter all put in the pan, we're going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes. Or in England, half a shake of a Christmas tree. So now that it's been 30 to 35 minutes, we're going to check on our brownies. And what we need to do is take one of these, loves, a toothpick. Okay? And what you do is, oh, look at those brownies! And look! So now, we take the toothpick, and if it's clean, you're green. So now we have to let the brownies take a little nap and then we can cut them up and we can nom nom nom. Now that we've let them cool down for a bit, we got them a little cut and we're going to scoop it with our spatula. Oh boy. There we go. And because we greased the bottom, they're fine. Oh yes. Look at that beautiful brownie. Let's give it a little taste, huh? It's splendid! Now, after they're cooled, you can cut the brownies and put them in this lovely little plate. And it all, put them on top of each other like a brownie mountain. Mm. Very good. Now, you can serve them to the kiddies and the adults and the old people. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.